I'm Scott with Mark's Mobility. Today we're going over how to program a memory function on the newer electronic versions of the Permobil, so stay tuned. This is the newer version of the Permobil. I have the M3 here. When I say new version, I mean the updated electronics that came out around 2024-ish. Um, it looks like this. I'll have a picture up on the screen. If you have the older electronics that look like this, that is a different video. I'll have that video linked down below so you can watch that one. These have a different process. There's actually an app this time instead of a programming dongle that you would have used on the other one. So I'll show you how to connect to that. I wanted to start that this is primarily going to be a dealer video, not necessarily something that customers can use. Uh, because you're going to need a login info as a dealer for this. So unless you have login info or an account with Permobil, you will not, most likely not be able to access this. Same with the other one where you need a programmer, uh, a, a programmer that a dealer has to access the memory functions. They just don't want customers constantly changing memories and causing issues in their chair. So this is primarily for anyone who's a dealer or works on Permobil, so has access to an account uh, with the app. So I'll go ahead and start with getting the chair into the programming mode. So what we're gonna do, I've got the seat lift elevated. You don't have to do this, it's just easier for me so I don't have to bend over to access the joystick. Uh, but what you're gonna do, we're gonna have the power off and then you're gonna turn the power on and while the power is cycling on, uh, on the M3, you're gonna go to the left motor while facing the chair. On the F3, you're gonna do the left motor when facing the rear of the chair which would be on this side, and you're gonna cycle it to neutral twice. So for example here, I'm gonna turn the power on, and then one, two. And you're gonna hear a beeping sound, and it's gonna enter a pairing mode. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the app going. Um, you're gonna wait on this. It's gonna say enabling configuring, enable config mode. It's gonna go through a few steps until it's ready for you to pair to the chair. It'll tell you that at the very end. So now I'm gonna show you how to open the app while this is working. So while this is getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my quick config app. It looks like this. I'm gonna open that. And then I have it pointed towards the ceiling just cause that's the only way I could get no glare. Uh, so here is the opening screen. For whatever reason for me, sometimes it's in Swedish. Um, I'm going to hit the green or the, the blue button that should say log in. Uh, I don't know why, but sometimes for me it just comes in in Swedish. Then it's going to say scan the label or use serial number. This is where you will scan the QR code at the base of your chair, or I prefer to use a serial number. As you can see up here, it says ready for connection. It gives you the serial number right there. That's a lot easier. So go ahead and enter that and I'll hit connect. It's gonna give you a prompt to join. I'll hit join. Now this is on iPhone. I'm not sure how this process would appear on Android, but this is what it looks like for iPhone. As you can see on the screen, it says linked to device. Now we're just gonna wait on it to connect. So the prompt disappeared on the screen, that's normal. That means it's finishing connecting, or it's already connected to the chair, it's just loading the rest of your settings. And now we're logged in. So what I wanna do now is scroll on the dashboard to the right where it says seating and positioning. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And then now there's a setting that says memory positions. I'm gonna go into there. Now there's different memory positions you can set. So I'm gonna set memory one. I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna take a second to process that. Once it's connected, you should be able to click on the button where it says memory one. And now you got a picture of a guy, but what from here you can actually use your finger because it's touch screen and control the positioning that you want him to be in. So say you want to be in a seated position for watching TV, like you want your legs up, you want your body positioned like that. Maybe lean back just a little bit. Let's say that's a good TV watching position. 
So you can adjust everything, tilt, recline, all that. Once you're there, you will hit apply. It will then save that position. Once it's done, it'll save it. And then we can see on here when we go to our seating positions, we have seat lift, backrest, tilt, leg rest, and memory one. And now when you push the joystick forward, it's gonna automatically go to that memory one position. Once you're done, we'll just go ahead and log out, close everything, then hit disconnect. I wouldn't mess with any other settings in here. You don't want to do something that's hard to reverse. So this is just the memory position. So I'm gonna hit disconnect. This is what it looks like in English. I don't know why it was Swedish at the start. Once again, this has been how to program the memory functions on a Permobil power chair. If you want to do it on the old electronics, I do have the other video in the link below. But this is, like I said, mostly for dealers or anyone who works on these who actually has access to an account like that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process once you actually get it connected to your phone. If you're interested in purchasing any used Permobil power chairs from us, go ahead and give us a call. We'd love to help you out. And thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.